Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of MC Eternal, where I have just cleaned out uh, our smeltery, except for some blood and some platinum. Um, the reason I've done this is because... Well, first, let's collect the quests that I've gotten off camera. I found a dense swine, and it wasn't a boss, so that was awesome. Wow, that gives a lot. Oh, that's a... Nice. That's a quest for Fishes Undead Rising. That's uh, in the... This one. Right there. Very cool. So we already have that. That's very nice. So let's store that. Um, get a bunch of silver. Nice. Emeralds. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then I also w wound up making a metallurgic infuser, which is the starting quest to this whole chunk of quests. And these are actually pretty easy. I think I want to sit down and just do a lot of these... Um, pretty soon so we're gonna look at those soon but uh, and then one last thing oh yeah I got some sky stone from a meteor just to complete that okay so what I want to do is look at the introduction tab we're focusing a lot on introduction tab right now um, because I figured out how to make these so I was looking at molten light night slime well I didn't check alloying and what I need is purple, liquid purple slime, seared stone, and iron. So let us get those things. I actually have them in this double chest pet. I found a ton of copper, by the way. <laughs> I uh, found one of those mega veins in the... You know, I'll keep this stuff in there for now. Um, I found one of those mega veins in the beneath. So that was really, really cool. Alright, so what I need for Night Slime is that I need, I already forgot, what was it, uh, the Purple Slime, Seared Stone, and Molten Iron. So I have Iron, Seared Stone, and Purple Slime. So what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of this in there. I don't know how much one block actually makes, so let's just do that for now. Actually, you know what? That's so uh, oh, let's take that all out. I'm gonna do the pig iron first because it requires blood and I have some blood in there already. So let's look at pig iron. Pig iron takes iron, clay, and blood. I have 40 megabytes megabytes. Uh millibuckets. I think the B stands for buckets. Uh millibuckets in there. I don't know what 144. I feel like that's probably 12 ingots. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we're gonna put a bunch of iron in like that and then we're also gonna put some clay in like that oh is it and as you can see I upgraded the <laughs> the furnace a ton so now it holds up a bunch so once I do this it should just start automatically hopefully there's no like platinum and iron thing no ooh endurium Resonant Ender comes from smelting Ender Pearls. I think I can also make that in an alloy smelter. I just reset that one. That's annoying. All right. Now, all of that is in there. And with it together, it should start making... Maybe I need more iron. I need a better iron to whatever ratio. Oh, no. There's pig iron. One ingot. Okay, so I need way more blood. Here we go. Ah! It hurts. It burns. Let's put a ton of blood in here. Should just be sacrificing pigs. It would make the pig iron faster. All right. How does that feel? Oh, I can check it from in here. Blood. I've got... Whoa, it's not... What? Oh, oh, it's making more. One block, four ingots, that is 15. Oh, I just need a tiny bit more. Molten clay, two blocks. Okay, um... That's 15, right? No, it's 13. Yeah, it's 13, so I need three more. Three more blocks. So I just need to jump back in there. Bam! Smelt me up! There we go. Yeah, that's enough. All right. Let's put that on the bottom. Let's uh, 
dump in the block, and then I need to get our crafting table, or our casting table, sorry, in order to do the rest of it. And then we can take the clay and the iron back out. Well, actually, I need the iron in there, right, for night slime. I already forgot. Yes, I did. I remember it's seared bricks. Oh my god, it's a pig's face. <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay. Uh, let's get that. And this. And dump that. And that goes really fast. Bam. And... Bam, and boink, and I think I made exactly enough, accidentally. Awesome. Okay, 144 millibuckets, if that's what the B stands for, is exactly one ingot. So, there you go. Bam! Done! Look at that. Pchow! Hot potato. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's dump the blood out. Let's put blood at the bottom. Let's go like that. Dump it out. Okay, and then um, put the this at the bottom and just go like that. And make a block of clay. Is this going to make terracotta or is this... Oh, it is. Yeah, terracotta. So it's kind of like smelting a block of clay. This is going to make one block of terracotta. Boink. Nice. That's not a waste at all. Okay, well, there you go. Alright, keeping the iron in there, good. Um, I'm going to need more, I believe. Let's smelt all of these seared bricks. There we go. And then, let's hope it's enough. I really don't want to have to make more. That would suck. All right, let's do an equal amount of that. I think I probably am going to need to make more, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But it, I might not, because this actually might make a lot. Well, that made a ton. The purple did. Okay, and then maybe more iron. Uh, let's just do a bunch. Ah, oh, crap, I keep doing that. I hate that the scroll wheel takes it out. It's annoying. I'm just trying to scroll on this thing. Alright, let's see how much is made. So I just need nine, or 16 of this too, which is a block and 7. There it goes for... 1 block and 2. Yep, I'm going to need more seared. Dang it. Ah, just barely 2. That means I need to make more freaking... Grout. How much gravel do I have? Of course I have none. Why would I have grout? That would be helpful. Okay, let's just make the recipe four times. There we go. Oh, so close. So close. Okay. One block and three ingots. So each block of seared makes... I only need to make it one more time. Because this makes eight grout. One one of the recipe makes eight grout. So I just need I already have the sand, I just need some gravel. Let's go find some gravel. Out in the rain. In the pouring rain. You know what? We're gonna go like this. There we go. Oh, perfect. A uh, freaking ocean. That's actually great. Oh, and a swamp. And the swamps have mud. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even looking at this. That's funny. Okay, let me get a bunch while we're here. There we go. Wow, the lag whenever I do this is crazy. Doink. And... Doink. Okay. Yeah. Get like five stacks of it. That's two, three and a half. Five, that's good. Seagulls. Uh, so now that I've killed the undead swine. Also, look at this. Spawn summoner. Not even a spawn egg for it. So I'm going to delete the uh, spawn summoner quest when I get a chance. Uh, but for now, 
I don't think. I, I can't. I can't right now because Chris isn't on, and I don't know when he's gonna. When he plans on getting on, I will also delete the a tomb get all the quests thing, or the get all the artifacts quest, because that one is insane, and nobody would ever, nobody in their right mind would ever waste their time doing that. Uh, I've also been collecting a lot of of um, wither skeleton skulls by going into these dungeons. I found four, or I think five actually, in one room the other night, uh, in one like t level four dungeon room. So this is what I've been doing. Might as well just do it really fast. Uh, I've just been going like this. I've been in the beneath a lot too, so I'm like used to having to get this out of here. I'm used to having to have light constantly around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? What the? What does it do? Oh look, a ferris rot knot. Nice. Okay, continuing down. I don't really know what this thing does. Yeah, I just dig like straight down to lava level. Oh, also I've spent like three or four hours in- Ow, ow, god. Oh no, we fell like right into one of these rooms. Yeah, I've spent like three or four hours in the beneath looking for, um... Oh, uh, what is it called? Uranium. So, I am really not enjoying the grind for that. Alright, here we go. So I start here. I usually grab the redstone too because redstone is always in short supply. Um, but I... I start on level 5. And without like looting the chests really, I kind of just run through. Grab the redstone blocks. Look at the sides of the walls for these because sometimes those oh god this is a loot room oh god okay i'm fine i am fine i'm gonna run out of food while i'm down here though which is annoying oh my god come on man let me up oh jeez i gotta have my fire damage thing okay this is like the worst this is like the worst it's ever gone i usually do this way more smoothly if that puts it into perspective. I usually don't fall into lava holes and freaking start burning forever. Oh god. Oh, okay. And I'm kind of just, you know, ignoring the redstone right now for the sake of time. Oh, there's a diamond block. Nice. Not that I ever need to collect diamonds again. Like, I literally have so much, so many diamonds. Okay. Um, but yeah, I usually don't get that many Wither Skeleton Skulls from this level. It's usually the the uh, fourth level. This is the fifth one. It's you oh, I thought that was one. It's usually the fourth level that gives the most. There's a blaze room right here. God. There's a bunch of redstone blocks over here. Yeah, I usually like to grab all the redstone because redstone is some somewhat hard to come by. Yeah, I just ignore all the mobs the best I can. Uh, which sometimes is in this time is not very easy to do. It's much more easier said than done. Uh, but I'm doing pretty well right now. Oh, tripped up a little bit there. It's all about speed and precision. And getting straight into the, the holes that you dig and whatever. Alright, running, running, running. Uh, let's get up to level 4 because I'm tired of this. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, there. <laughs> yeah, let's get up to level 4. Because this is where the magic happens, so I look for... These rooms. These big ones. Because in here, there are sometimes Wither Skeleton Skulls. Of course, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it because there isn't one in this room. A single one. I got four. I can't remember if it was four or five in one of those rooms the other day. I don't know if it was because I was in the dungeon type of these, or sorry, the, the desert type of these dungeons. That might have been a factor, uh, but I don't know if that actually makes a difference nor, more, most of the time. Ow. Ow. Okay, uh, 
uh, any other big rooms? No, that's the end room. Run. Jump. <laughs> also an end room. Okay. <laughs> what a loser. Hey, he's slow now. Loser! I don't want to pick up the stuff. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna block this off because there's too many mobs and I don't want to deal with them. Yeah, get out of here. That's where I came from. Okay, so this way is the next way. Hopefully we got more than just one of those rooms in this dungeon. Sometimes they only have one of those rooms. Um, is this a way? Oh, it is. Whoa. Okay, end room. Oh! I thought it was going to be a poison potion. I hate it when I step on those because they always... Sometimes they have poison potions. How is that? Oh, they're going into the little holes on the side. That's funny. End room and... Whoa. Ah, oh, cave spider room. I always ignore those. Even if there's stuff past them, I just don't want to deal with them because they're so difficult to get through. Alright. Okay, here we go. Last branch. Give me something good. And sometimes the, the, the heads are on the side of these, too. Are you kidding me? That was it? Oh, wait, no, there's one. Come on, big room. End room. Whoa, a lot of guys here. Also an end room. Of course, there's gonna be like 40 guys coming at me. Come here, dummies. Blindly follow me over here and then I'm gonna go like this. Oh, of course the freaking vines are so annoying. That's what I hate about this level is that you can't get out of anything because the vines, oh, they slow you down so much. They're so annoying. And why are there so many guys? What the heck, man? Whoa, 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 of course. All right, well, there was really nothing in here, so. <laughs> I got the gravel, that's what I was trying to get in the first place, okay. So all I need is to go like this. Bam, no, I don't have my freaking sand on me. Let's go down, let's, Ugh, come on. Okay, please, please don't disconnect me. I really don't want to be disconnected right now. All right, put that in there, all that in there. There's no way I'm out of room. Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. Um, Sand. It goes like this, right? I think this is how it goes. Then gravel. Bam, 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 and then that. There we go. And all I need to do is just cook this up really fast. And then once I have that, then I smelt it. And it should make enough molten night slime. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I was thinking it would turn straight into blocks. Okay, so each... <laughs> fine. How many do I need? One block and seven, right? And I just made two. So I just need two more. Yeah. So I just need to do the recipe one more time. <sighs> ah, boy. Sand. Gravel. Do it again. Bam. 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 Ah. Okay. Let me get some more food on my bar while I'm waiting. A little bit more food. All right. Done. 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 And oh my god. Really gonna make me turn that on for like a split second in order to finish that. Okay. There you go. We have our four seared bricks. They're cooking up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't want to put this copper in yet because I feel like it'll combine with like the iron or something. Is there a copper and iron thing? I guess not. Huh. 
Okay, I guess I can put it in. And make sure that this doesn't have anything. No, okay. Alloying. Yeah. Okay, it should be. Whoa! It should be good to put the copper in. Just to uh, multiply my copper a bit. I also need to do this. And just start do <laughs> cooking all this stuff up. Five. Bam, bam. Wait. Bam. 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 Alright, that is done. Got a bunch of copper in there now. Three blocks and seven ingots. That is one block and seven ingots, just as I planned. 8B? I don't know what that means, but anyway. Let's put this at the bottom. One block, seven ingots. Here is the first block. And then we'll do the ingots. And that'll be that done. And then it just comes down to doing, ugh, these two. Then all of the fish is undead rising. And then these four right here. Which requires that I find a woodland mansion, which is not going to be very easy, I feel like. Okay. Bam. I also want to work on doing these. Or at least just that. And maybe there's rat stuff too. We'll look at that this episode and then we'll call it because we've got eight minutes left. But we are almost to this goal. In two more, we will have it. Oh shoot, that's not what I meant to do. Woohoo! We got it. All right, awesome. What does Night Slime make? Of course. Um, oh, I need the seeds. Do I? I do. Awesome, I didn't need the pig iron seeds, but I do need the, oh God, uranium seeds. So that means I need even more uranium than the 32 that I thought I needed for just for this. Where does this come from? Apparently it doesn't have a recipe, so that's annoying. Molten uranium, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uranium nugget. I could also try to get uranium nugget. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uranium dust. Comes from... Sure. Dirty uranium dust. This comes from uranium clump. <laughs> Which just comes from... Uranium. So it all comes down to needing. Yeah. It all comes down to needing the actual ore. So. Oh, that would have been nice when I was making the blaze grinder, but I don't need any more. Well, I'll keep it just in case I make like an Enderman farm or something like that. Alright, so I need to keep that around for the. Uh. to keep those around for the seeds okay while we're here I also was looking at okay so the reason that I wanted to make um, the uh, crusher is be because for electrical steel which is used in a lot of stuff in the future I believe I need this silicon that's the easiest way to make it since I already have an induction smelter um, and in order to make silicon you just put sand in a crusher made from uh, made from, or made, the mechanism crusher, which is just made from osmium, some steel. Oh, I've also been cooking a bunch of extra coal coke, because uh, I want to make more iron, or more steel. Let's get this stack of coal coke out, so that we can put um, another stack of iron up in, a, up in our... What the heck? Okay. Uh, up in here. So that'll be making a nice stack of, of steel, another stack. So that'll be good. But yeah, so I, I want it to make uh, this this stuff. So I 
as you can see, that comes from a crusher, which is pretty easy. You just needed a metallurgic infuser and some osmium, which I have a ton of. So let me get some osmium. And let me actually I don't have a ton of osmium. Wow. I thought I I thought I had a ton of that stuff. Oh. Task completed. Where? Where is that a task? Huh. I thought I did all the osmium stuff already. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know where that was. Oh, this, duh. Right. Okay. Anyway, I put reds. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And how fast does it use it? It's gonna use like a hundred or something. Please use ten, meaning that it's like. Okay, good. Thank God. So it's it's one per basically. Just ate my entire stack of redstone though. <laughs> All right, this should be being powered. Okay, there. Quest completed. Basic basic control unit. Beautiful. Collect that. Um, toss that. No, not that. That. Okay. And then I also just need here. Let's let's get crusher up here. There we go. Nope, that's the wrong one. This. I just need some steel and that, and then I believe with that. Ah, shoot! I need two buckets of lava, which I can go get from the volcano over here. I'm pretty sure I'm about to take the last two buckets that are actually in this volcano. Ah! Jerks! Oh, there's lava right under there, though, so that's actually probably where I'll start going for... Ow, my lava supply. Oh, there's multiple down here. Do they spawn, like, over actual lava pools like do they do they actually make it so that it's like coming out of a lava pool because that would be really really cool oh no i think i found the bottom right there actually yeah there it is okay well i guess it's just coincidence that there's one there happens to be one underneath here okay well at least there's a few more there but anyway let's uh get down here and make this and that is that so there you go am i do i have like is crusher a osmium compressor dynamic tank i don't think the crusher is actually a quest so that's okay all right all right so now we have this crusher let me make sure yep looks good and now I believe, uh, sand, let's take some sand, and I believe I can just go like that, and this starts making silicon, and when this is done, this is a different type of silicon, of course, from this, which is also silicon, but, uh, and then when this is done, I can make electrical steel, so there you go. There we go. All right. Um, also, I was pronouncing this like ch chasis or something or chassis. It's called a chassis. <laughs> I realized that after a little while. I was like, oopsies. Okay. Um, I kind of want to start down this whole like crazy looking oh, end steel. Whoa. Um. I want to start down this, kind of, the most. Also, I realized that I have fire on me all the time. That last time when I was trying to, like, find gravel and uh, a piece of iron and everything, that was so dumb because I can literally go like this, and I realized that later. I can go down here. Down here. And I can literally go like this. 
<laughs> I'm shift clicking. That's all I need to do. Uh, of course, it uses a piece of coal every four times that I use it, but whatever. Oh my god. Are you about to tell me that it doesn't? Okay, good. I thought I thought it only worked if you did it with a flint and steel or something stupid. I wonder if this stuff actually burns, like if it actually ever goes away. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So I don't need to worry about it uh, burning. I was always like too scared to put it in, like places because I thought it would just fall into the fire and burn. But I can just light all this up. There we go. That should give me enough. Hopefully. Let's see it. So this is kind of the mod that I want to focus on right now, which is Ender.io. Yeah, Ender.io. So, because uh, there's just a lot of like alloy smelting and stuff like that, and I feel like these are things that we can do because we have our alloy smelter and we have our um, induction smelter and everything. We know how to uh, make things in our alloy, or we know how to alloy things in our smeltery, our, our seared brick smeltery. And then after that, I probably also want to focus on, let's see, an introduction to science. I want to focus on this one because we've already got like a bunch of this stuff. The coke, well, I don't have coke bricks, but, um, like, I feel like this is all pretty, pretty easy stuff to do. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. Revolver. Yeah, so a lot of it takes steel, so that's kind of why I'm cooking up steel. I don't want to make everything that I have, all of my iron, and uh, I mean, I don't want to make all of my steel into electrical steel because there's definitely thing, more things in the quest book that take steel to make than there are things that take electrical steel. There's only actually a few things that take electrical steel. After making that, then you need it for like, I don't know, a few of these things. There's, uh, there's something over here, I think. Yeah, so there's some electrical steel stuff there. There's some um, conduit binder stuff here. I actually had a ton of that at one point. Uh, finally, we get that started. Um, yeah, I had a ton of that at some point, but I think I turned it all into conduits, so. Not ideal, because we're gonna have to make it again. But anyway, there you go. What did I get? Holding two, don't care. Okay. Um. And yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna need a lot of this uh, grains of infinity because uh, there's a lot of machines here that that use the the chassis. Yeah, and then there's the industrial dye blend, which of course comes from this is all stuff that we were gonna we we're all we we're gonna do all this stuff before a oh, sag mill. Interesting. Ah, so this is where the these little gears come into play. See, I find these in in uh so it's ender io i find these all the time in 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 uh like dungeon chests and stuff and enchanter interesting and dark steel is made how um oh pulverized obsidian so that's pretty easy you can just put that in a pulverizer right oh okay good <laughs> yeah all right and then um there's like different capacitors there's all the different uh energetic alloy vibrant alloy this is like gold and glowstone and stuff so there's a lot of different stuff vibrant capacitor bank yeah so like there's crazy crazy stuff like this is the final thing vibrant alloy nugget vibrant alloy is made from ender pearls and energetic alloy which of course is made from gold and glowstone and redstone lots and lots of stuff to do so I kind of want to start down that path. It would probably be multiple, like, four or five episodes that we'd be working on this stuff. And we'd probably have to stop at one point because I'm sure we don't have all the things that we need to do everything there. But yeah, so um, for the rest of this episode, which is, like, no time, um, 
I just want to get some, get some, uh, here, let's buy all of these. Where, what am I looking at? Uh, the farming, here we go. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, let's just get twelve to be safe. Emerald, let's just get thirty-two to be safe. Oh, there you go. That was a quest, because I still haven't picked up that. Wow, I have $20,000. I can almost buy this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. This actually might be good, because creative one, the creative one. Oh, wait. Oh, unlock from completing the introduction chapter. So can I not actually do this yet? Oh, I don't know. Um... You know, I'm thinking about it also. Let me just do this. There we go. Pretty good. 20%, 27% of the way there. This is at 69%. Nice. Mob kills, of course. Um, I need to breed more animals more often. Okay, this is not what we're focusing on. Oh, wow. I'm like halfway done with this. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Okay. Um... Yeah, so let's go do this. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff to focus on. I mean, there's going to be constant... I'm going to be constantly looking around. Okay, let's... Whoa. Trash can. Oh, interesting. There's stuff in there. Uh, all right, let's focus on this. Blackberry, blueberry, cactus fruit, raspberry, corn, and rat... What? Okay. Corn. Bam. Bye. Boom. Cucumber, onion, artichoke, cotton, cactus fruit, bam, boom. Elderberry, spice leaf, arrowroot, mustard, candleberry, beet, bean, eggplant, giga pickle, raspberry. Did I not see... Oh, okay, that just was twice for some reason. Blueberry, bam. See how many of these I actually remember. Okay, I'm gonna check again because I don't I don't remember the rest. Okay, uh, blackberry, flax, sisal, juniper berry, agave, and mulberry. I think I was on. Yeah, I was on mulberry. Uh, okay, so I need to be looking for blackberry. Oh, I also need lettuce seeds and tomato seeds. Um, quinoa, millet. Rhubarb, ginger, asparagus, cantaloupe, winter squash, rutabaga, Brussels sprout, okra, sesame seed, cauliflower, radish, broccoli, zucchini, tomato. I know I need this for the uh, player shop one. Jute, sisal. That was one. Um, blacks. Okay. Uh, I know I need blackberry. And, uh, I forget the others. Agave, juniper berry, and blackberry. So that's green, blue, and purple. Probably past. Oh, there's agave. Bam. Amaranth. So green, blue, juniper berries. Ah, there's blackberry. I feel like I haven't seen... Oops. Whoa. I think I just got two for the price of one. Because I only had one emerald in there. There it is. Bam. We got them all. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to take all these. And we're just going to go like this. Got a nice little garden over here. Um, we'll just take that. I'll go like this. Bam. 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 I don't know... Why we'd ever need any of this. Um, I mean, I'll probably need it. Okay, this is the stuff that I want to plant multiple of. See, so I'll probably need it for some of like, the recipes and stuff. But yeah, there you go. So those are growing now. Let's collect all of these quests. 25, 25, 25. Okay, so I think the creative uh, thing would connect 
if I just decrease my uh, space a little bit, which would be fine with me because, I mean, I'm talking about the ME system, by the way, uh, because I can attach a, a uh, security thingy and the wireless access point. See, I already have a wireless crafting terminal, but the thing is it has a 16 block, so one chunk uh, radius that it reaches. But I can add, um, I can add uh, like infinity booster cards to it and it gives it power to go beyond the radius for just like a tiny bit of time, but then it stops. So I feel like a creative one just has infinite power but, uh, across dimensions and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that that's the case. And I wonder, I'm wondering if I'd even need, oh, I have a fork. Oh, right. I, I knew that. Um, I'm wondering if I'd even need a, a wireless access point or if I just need the security. In that case, I could leave six of the drives because to do the security thingy and then the wireless access point, I need to take two of the drives away, which would decrease our things by uh, you know, 20 spots. But if I don't need the wireless access point, then I would just be able to take one away. So it would only decrease it by 10, which is pretty good, if you ask me. All right, while we're at it, I know that we're running a little bit long, but most of these episodes do, so we might as well. Uh, let's make some rat traps. Oops. Rat trap. There it is. Let's make four of those and then go like that. Two, three, four. Bam. That is done. Cheesy cash. Rat upgrade. Enchanter. Okay, interesting. Garbage pile. Only rat rats can spawn on garbage piles. I guess I'll keep that. Uh, let's look at this. That's a cauldron and cheese. So I literally just need iron because I also I already have the cheese. Bam. Nope. Seven. There we go. Uh, let's look at cheese. Oh, I don't have. Okay, I have a bunch of blocks though. So there you go. Would you look at that? Quest completed. This one. Done. Bam. Oh, nice. I got another minesweeper. I can try again. Um, I'll do that on my own time. I thought I got like a ton of cheese blocks one day. Or one time. I, I think if I'm understanding correctly, I go like this. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. I don't understand how to make cheese blocks, I guess, so I just have to farm them from villages. I'm gonna throw this, this out because I don't need that. Um, okay, that covers that. And then I need, I have these rat cages, rat cage, I have the rat tubes, I have the rat lantern, I have the rat hammock, bam. And that just leaves rat seed bowl and rat water bottle rat water bottle plastic waste block drops okay nice what there we go okay let's make that of course i don't have any iron nuggets in here there's enough stuff that uses iron nuggets that I want to have some in there okay and then rat seed bowl of course okay I have different types of seeds but raw plastic oh man I don't have enough of this crap how do I ma can I make it nope I can trade it that's it okay well you can't do this this episode which sucks. Rat upgrade chef. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, um, hopefully we might get that from like a random loot drop, but <laughs> that stinks. All right. Well, 
anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. In the next episode, we're going to focus on, uh, on all this. We're going to try to get as far as we can in a few episodes. Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go play Minesweeper, and I hope you've, uh, you've enjoyed. Thank you, guys. <laughs> what the heck is this outro? Goodbye.